now consider what we might call the technology that we could use within the classroom, then that could include things such as cassettes, the use of CDs, the use of DVD and video. Some general issues surrounding the use of these types of material. Make sure whenever you're using any of this type of technology that you know how it actually works. When using it for a listening activity, for example, how long does it take for the whole tape to play through? How long does it take to rewind and so on? Other issues that you might need to think about is if you're using a cassette player or a CD or something, that you set the volume level before you actually start the lesson so that when you switch on, you don't shock everyone with a very loud sound or that they can't actually hear it. It's also uh, make sure before the lesson takes place that the whole extract of whatever it is you're playing is actually useful and that it works. There's nothing worse than getting to the end of an extract, a listening activity, and the final bits of information that they need can't be heard because of the quality of the tape or whatever. The ideas around using CDs and so on, they have a variety of uses, they're good for different types of activity, and they can certainly act as a prompt and create interest in a particular topic. Also, because they're not used all that often, they can be very motivational. But it is important that they are used in the right way, and we should make sure that whenever we use this type of material, that it has some educational purpose, and it's not just seen as something special that takes place during the lesson.